In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create different types of videos using Canva. Let's get started. I have created a simple poster using Toastmaster brand guidelines. If you want to learn how to create this kind of posters, please check my other videos. I have put the link in the description of this video. Let me start with a very simple example. If I try to download this poster as a video, and Canva allows me to do that, I click on the video option and click download. The video will be downloaded on my PC and I can click on it and play it. As we can see, it is a five second video with no moving elements. Not very interesting. Let's see how we can resolve that. There are two things I can do to make this look like a video. The first thing is to add some moving elements. And if I go to elements, I can search for objects in the Canva library that have moving elements in them. Let me search for stars, GIF. GIF is a moving element. And I can see a lot of interesting elements that I can put on my poster to make it look like a video. So let's put some stars first. Looks nice. Let me make it smaller. Move it around. And let's add some more sparkles. Somewhere here. Let's resize it. And this looks good. When we add any moving elements to a Canva poster, the first thing you'll notice is this play button which has appeared on top, indicating that this is now a video that can be played for 5 seconds. The second thing I can do to make this look like a video is to add some music. You click on the music element and then scroll through the Canva library to find the music that you like. Let's try this fireworks. I can click on the play button. Sounds interesting. I can now drag and drop it to see how this will look like as a video. All I have to do is click on the play button and it will play me in the 5 second clip. Close it. I am not very happy with the 5 second clip that is being played even though I like the track. So to select the right 5 seconds from the music track, what we need to do is click on the music and move this around till you find the segment of 5 seconds that you like. That sounds wonderful. Let's try playing it again now. Amazing. If I now download this as a video, I will get exactly those 5 seconds with that upbeat music. What if I want to create a slideshow with multiple slides? This would be slide number 1 and I can add a new page to create the next slide. And notice that the time of our video has now increased to 10 seconds, which means every new page that we add, we get 5 seconds. So now I have 4 slides a total video length of 20 seconds. Let me quickly put some content in these four slides and I will get back to you. So here are the four slides. I have put different photos and some different elements to make it look like a slideshow. One of the things I would like to check is the music. When I first selected the music, it was for a five seconds, but now my slideshow is more than 20 seconds, so I might like to choose a different segment of the music. Let me click here and move it somewhere. That seems better. Now I have a slideshow with four slides, different moving elements and music. Let's see how it looks like.
Amazing! That's how we create a video in Canva. We included music, we included multiple pages, and we added some moving elements to make it look like a video. Let's move to the next part. What if I want to include video itself in my Canva? You can do that. Click on the videos and you can scroll through all the available videos and choose the one you want. Make sure that they are marked as free, otherwise you have to pay for it. Once you find the video you like, you can simply select it and drag and drop it in your project. You can resize it just like any other object and you can place it where you want. Notice that the time of the project has now increased because this video is 34 seconds in length. If you want to see how it will look like, always click on the play button. For my example, I have a beautiful video of this event and I want to use that video for this project of mine. So what I'm going to do is, let me first remove this from the project and go to the uploads. And we have an option here. Instead of images, I can upload videos. I don't have any videos in Canva as of now. Click on the upload button. And the video that I want is on my desktop. So let me click desktop and here is the video. I will open it. It will take some time for the video to be uploaded and processed and be available in Canva. After a minute or so, the video is now available. I can see that it is 45 seconds long. What I will do is I will make a copy of this page and let me remove the photo from the frame and insert the video in its place. I'll also remove some of this text elements and make the video size a little bigger, like this. You will notice that the total length of the video has now gone up to 1 minute 13 seconds because it has included the length of the video. If you want to see what it will look like now, let's click on the play button. So we have a problem now. You will notice that the audio from the video as well as a music file are competing with each other. So we'll have to decide whether we want music or we want the audio from the video. Or we can mix it up. What I can do is I can reduce the volume of this music. And I do that by clicking here. Let's keep it at this volume. And the audio volume from the video itself also can be adjusted. And I do that by clicking here and it's already at its max volume. So let it be at that. Let's see how it looks now. And that's beautiful. We can now download the entire video and it will play the video from the first slide as well as animations and other information that we have inserted in all the other slides for a total duration of 1 minute 13 seconds. So there you have it. Music, videos, animations, all can be packaged to create videos in Canva. If you have a pro version, we can do one more thing which I'm going to show you and that's animating the text and objects within your page. So let me go back to the home page and I will switch to my pro account. I have created a similar design in my pro account. Let me open it up. Like the previous design, it has some text, pictures and some animation. The new thing that is available in my pro account is this option called animate. 
You will not find it in the free version. And let's see what it does. I'll click on animate. And I have different options to animate this slide. Let's say I choose tumble. As you can see, all the elements will move based on what animation you have chosen. Let's try stomp or pen. So the animate option gives you additional ways of animating objects within your page. And like our previous example, you could add videos, you could add multiple pages, and the combination of this would give you a video that's really attractive. So there you have it. Video creation using Canva. Go ahead and try it on your own.